Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the rock full of brains, a collection of asteroids way out in the wilds of space. And last time we put almost all of our effort into making this little heat trap for underneath our Radbowl engine under here. That has meant that we've got this beautiful rocket that can go, at the moment, 16 tiles. And 16 tiles is quite a distance. One, two, three, four. For, this is this is all places we can't go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can make a round trip for ten, checking out all of the corners of this place. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get straight on and doing uh, that. There might be some small problems on the inside though. Uh, one of the problems that I do know is that we got water all over the floor. And why do I have water over the floor? Well, that is because I try to uh, uh, remove a bunch of uh, build it, a bunch of blocks at the top here because our barracks was too small. Uh, we now have access. Oh, hello to the uh, the mess hall over here. It's a shame we can't make this a great hall. What am I, what am I missing for the great hall? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. And unfortunately, the toilet is not a thing because we've got this mini gas pump here. Uh, and I suppose we can make do with that Goddard coming in to sort out the sedimentary rock. This might actually be incredibly good. If we, uh, if we get him also maybe mopping the floor. Indeed, wait. We can... We can now just leave, right? Uh, crew, uh, I think I need to be on the outside to be able to go begin that launch. Let's have a look down the list here. We've got no uh, no uh, problems with our launch, so I'm just going to hit that begin launch, and we're going to say goodbye uh, to Goddard. Another thing I need to do, of course, he's uh, he's been sent uh, through because we want him to be able to do a little bit of telescope work, and you can see that he needs two more levels to be able to do that. So we're going to make sure that happens. All the radiation going down, creating... I presume, antimatter anti underneath and warming up the steam down below. Warming up just about everything. As you can see, the nuclear fallout coming out of here, 2,000 degrees C. Why is it not that hot here? I don't know. Oh, look, something fell off of the, uh, fell off of the, the I don't know, the, the, the systems over here. Who even knows what happened? I assume we melted some tungsten or something like that, maybe uh, some pipes. Hubble, what? Why, why are you there? What are you doing? Can you please just not not be doing that? Oh, look, we got some cobble on the floor as well. Okay, we got, we got a whole bunch of interesting things going on there. So whilst we wait for our boy Hubble, uh, not Hubble, Goddard here to go around and do everything that he needs to do, and indeed we should have been mopping up the floor, but doesn't seem to be interested in that. There we go, a little bit of mopping's going on, but more importantly, at some point they will be getting into the telescope here. Scolding Compton. Why, why, why are people doing the bad? all of the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave you guys. To, you are actually going to pass out. Let's put Compton... Oh, we can't put... Oh, man. Uh, there's, there's problems all around. We're going to just assume that they can get to it once they have sorted that out. Oh, incapacitated. My friend, what are you doing? Compton, I assume, is the one that fell over. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, put them back in there. I'm just going to cancel all of the jobs that were going on uh, out here because that's, this is just too much problems. This is just too much problems. Hubble, if you could, just just don't just don't okay we, we appear to have solved a few of the issues that we were having there compton's going to go back into the triage cart maybe we could make ourselves a nice and better ho uh, hospital at some point it definitely is something that needs to be done okay we have uh, appeared to have released the pressure that was building up over here and the reason that the pressure was building is because we had managed to not fill all of these spaces in so people had managed to dig uh, not dig uh, build down and under uh, and that that was giving us a bit of a pressure build up as we were crushing everything down we have now solved that particular issue oh and uh, doing the wonderful building through the tile technique uh, something that we don't get to do very often but was indeed part of our lives right here okay it's looking good it's looking fine uh, another thing i want to do is come over to pi accident in fact if we have a look on reverse and i can show you why i want to go to pi accident why why is this um ir not irrigated why are none of these irrigated where has the polluted water gone uh well i can tell you where the polluted water's gone we've actually ended up uh, cleaning up all the water out of this tank here you can see we've got some polluted water come come uh, around here but we can't manage to get that out right now which means there is just clean water filtering through the system uh, we were filtering uh the polluted water out and sending it to reverse lin we can't do that anymore through that system but i uh, believe it or not have other patches of polluted water i need to empty out this load all under here needs to go it's causing me some significant problems uh so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna send it 
it over to Reversing, where it will come out of this teleport device over here, follow this line of pipes, uh, and go back into the, the small plants over here. All right, brilliant. We, we, we're solving many, many issues at once. If we look on the SAR map, uh, we're not at the moment doing any... Let's view the interior. Uh, we're eating, that's why. I, I guess that's fine. I would have preferred you to get into the uh, to the rocket over here, but you're saying that's not... That's your third job? Okay, what, what are you doing? Why, why are you not doing a thing? Okay, that's a little bit better. I wonder why they just got stuck in that loop there. That was horrific and something that I don't really want to see ever again. Uh, we're going to let Goddard have a sleep. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, we should get a whole bunch of telescope work going down. Okay, a new day has dawned. Goddard is having a look through the telescope. And if we look at the star map, this means that they are indeed trying to make their, uh, their, their area of known space a little bit bigger. The telescope target is indeed being searched through here. Can we speed this up just a little bit? I'd like this to be revealed whilst we're talking. Unfortunately, I believe this also means that we are not going to be uh, exposing any new POIs until we get up to this place over here. There is a whole bunch of stuff we're looking to expose on. On the map and it's going to take a little bit of time but I think we're fine with that over on Blagolia I believe Swan Levitt is complaining about food but where are they uh, I don't know they're, they're, they probably just needed to catch their breath and they were like well this is more important so that's going to cause me some problems these um smog slugs are actually a bit of a problem uh, they should be eating anything that's not oxygen uh, but I wanted them to only eat the smog slugs are porous creatures that draw unbreathable gases during the day uh, at night they sleep near exposed gas pipes where they deposit their cash I mean that's pretty cool but what happens if we just want okay let, let's Let's try and do this. Uh, we will put a bunch of pipes along the bottom here, and then this can go up and into the filter, where if it is not... Oh, no, wrong side of the filter. Wrong side of the filter. Where if it is not producing hydrogen, this here will be like, hey, are you are you hydrogen? If it's not hydrogen, it will spew those gases out, uh, which we should be able to see here. You can see that opened up to let this little bit of polluted oxygen be free in the world. Okay, that should make everything work a little bit better for us here, I hope. <laughs> We're just going to go around and tweak a few things. Another thing that I'm not sure how to tweak, and I, oh, if anybody has any ideas, let me know no. Uh, we've got ourselves a vacuum with a bunch of magma being pulled away from the obsidian. Now the obsidian was keeping the heat from the magma coming up and through this door to power our little geothermal plant that we've got here. Uh, I don't know how to get into here without breaking the vacuum seal and making everything a hideously super steamy mess. Uh, so yeah, if, if anybody has any ideas, l let me know. I feel like we could probably build in, put a thing down, come up and then make a bunch of insulation but that might be awkward flight status has been reached i just noticed my rocket had popped up there but that's fine we need to expose all of this i believe it's up to two away that it will expose but once we've got that we're going to change our destination to over there three out of 13 tiles is actually pretty quick it's a short little distance i wonder whether we could then go to this corner and then back in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we could do it we could do it i think i might I think I might. Trying to expose all this area is the goal of today. I don't know whether we're going to... I mean, we could even... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, it's a little bit too far. Maybe make a return journey. But we can't make a return journey because we don't quite have the, the range for that. Maybe if we fully stocked up our... A rocket that would be fine yeah swan levitt once again be like hey i don't know how to survive in this world where you give me all the food i ever want but hey i need to breathe uh, and i'm like yeah i understand you need to breathe so i'm putting these ladders in so we can fix the pipes at some point that'd be cool i don't know if we could get over here somewhere to do so we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out as time moves on what is behind it oh it's the critter feeder okay i suppose all of this is acceptable i might even just leave these as they are and uh let the the pug slugs kind of just join up over here a swan leather again seriously what is going on just go get some food and everything will be fine the next thing i want to do and this is deadly is get down here and replace these tiles so that we can start thinking about maybe dropping some of this super 
hot water. It's not super hot water, but it's kind of hot water down on top of the bees. I'm going to also start digging out some of this area. Uh, maybe we could hide the... Oh, look, we got some solid nuclear waste. Maybe we could do something about moving the, the ice over this way somewhere, get it out of the way so that when we drop the water, we're not freezing it. Oh, look, there's some uranium here. Interesting. I didn't know that was there. I don't think we're going to do anything with it. I don't think we're going to let the bees at it. Um unless we can get up there to open this up but uh, uh the, the bees are more dangerous than they used to be at some point some bugs got fixed and these bugs got a bit bit more aggressive so we need to try and make sure that none of our duplicates die from that compton is getting fixed up okay that that that's cool hubble's down here as well uh hubble's like yeah no may, maybe i could maybe i could dig who knows uh spitzer is like yeah we're gonna build this as well all right cool this is all a uh, good something that's not not great is the fact that we've got these backing up quite as far as they are i think i would like to at some point just drop this in like that it's going to cause us some troubles but i need to be oh wait 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 i don't want to be dropping any extra water from here but i i need to empty out some of this and i'm just going to go ahead and do this in a very brutal way uh we will get ready to open it i want to i want to bring the the partial packets down here somewhere uh indeed i think that will do and then we'll reconnect the the backup pipe there should be no water flow going through here Okay, there we go. That that should be fine. So the water was backing up and not letting these steam turbines function. Uh, is that is that now going to be overwhelmed? It pulls open. This goes down, hopefully to this little bridge right here. It didn't go as far as I hoped it would. I don't think we're produ we're consuming as much water as people have let me know in the past. Uh, and this could mean that we're building up more and more steam on the inside. And if we get over 150 grams of steam, the research reactor won't be able to output its super hot waste. Uh, and then if it can't do that, it will over overheat and we will uh, be in a meltdown situation. I can tell you what, um, a nuclear reactor melting down is not good. Whilst we sit here and watch Goddard studying the wilds of space, I would like to say a thank you very much to the people that helped me in my studies of the wilds of space. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can go comfortably on into the future while I am also simultaneously studying astrophysics at university. I don't know why I've decided to do such crazy two things together at the same time time both are full-time jobs and commitments and yet here we are making sure that both of them are happening as as comfortably as possible so from the very very bottom of my heart to all of you out there i'd like to say thank you thank you so much we're bringing him home. Th things have gone wrong. I have made great mistakes. Uh, you can see this is a little bit of carbon dioxide in the corner here, but we're out of oxygen in the in the pipe network. This this is not how we send rockets out to deep space. It was fine when we were just moving from one place to another, but but not now. We we need to completely gut this whole system out. It it can't hold enough gas. It can't deal. Well, I suppose it does deal with the carbon dioxide fast enough. Well, how are we out of power? Does this rocket not even have a battery on it? Uh, there might be even more wrong than I thought. Okay, it was because it had flown from one place to another that I thought it was space ready. But of course, I, I am incredibly wrong here. Uh, so uh, back in point two cycles, that should be fine. We're going to warm some stuff up. We're going to get... <clears throat> Hello, overheat damage. How are you doing? We'll figure out that. We'll figure that out. That, that, that'll be fine. And we'll be able to uh, release the rad bolts again so that we can fill up the uh, the, the rocket. Yeah, that, that, that'll be fun. Oh, Goddard has returned. The only way I knew was because we got a Golding warning. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. He came back. He, he got got burnt by the the exhaust plume of his own rocket. Uh, we're going to let these rad bolts out right now. Let's turn it all the way down. Do that for both of them, uh, and that should give us a fair amount of fuel. It's not going to be anywhere near as much as we would like. Two thousand five hundred. I'd like to get closer to four thousand. Goddard, where are you going? Uh, of course, you're going to try and sleep in there. I think. 
I'm going to allow this, but we should definitely build a, a guest bedroom at some point. Okay, there's two extra parts to the rocket. Uh, we've got ourselves a solar panel up top, and we're going to put a gas canister in there as well. As soon as the auto... Man, those auto saves are getting longer and longer. It's almost like I'm doing more and more stuff in the colonies. There may have been some small mistakes made. Uh, as, as you know, I do like putting uh, rockets together that are full of problems, and this, this problem now is the fact that we don't have any way at all of loading up the gas into the gas canister over here. What we need to be able to do is if we come into the ventilation, we need to be able to get this gas port rocket loader here and uh, pop it almost exactly exactly here. Uh, as soon as we can do that, I will. But this does require a little bit of a remodeling of the local area. Shouldn't be too difficult to get done as long as other people are coming along to help out with this lot. Of course, it could all just be down to Spitzer. You, know, you never know how things work. You never know. Over on this other side, I may have slightly made this thermal aqua tuner out of the wrong material. I don't know what was wrong with me last time, but uh, I was definitely having some issues. Uh, liquid nuclear waste is what we want to move. Scalding would be Spitzer because there is boiling hot oxygen here. 80 degrees. Uh, that should be okay. This is what's going to force us to make the uh, this rocket loader out of steel. I would prefer to make it out of tungsten, but I don't know where all my wolframite is right now. I, be I believe I made some stuff out of it. But we're gonna have to go find that. <laughs> Okay, the oxygen is now flowing into the port loader and into our cargo canister over here. Uh, inside, I am in the middle of making a change so that we can just cut all of this gas line and uh, maybe move this mini gas pump out of the toilet so that we can we can use it as a toilet. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? I think that would be amazing. We're totally going to do that. <laughs> Okay, this fully tanked up rocket can travel 20 tiles, even with the four solar panels that I've put on, as well as the, ga the gas cargo uh, canister. It, the uh, canister is filling up, but to go for the full 20 days, a uh, duplicate only needs 1.5 tons of oxygen, so we've got that covered. I'm also doing something a little bit different over here. I'm trying to fill up the, um, the nuclear waste a little bit more. In fact, let's turn that back up, uh, so that we can get more of a punch from off of this nuclear waste we let it build up when it gets above a certain amount the door opens and it flushes out to space uh, but yeah I, I think uh, we've got everything set up in here I've even got a little uh, check to see if the gas that we're pumping out is indeed carbon dioxide and not just oxygen we'll try and keep hold of any of the oxygen we were traveling of course I mean do we now go over to here it's now a little bit further or do we go to stick to the original plan because we were supposed to open up a much larger area I think we, I think we can do this four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one uh, thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen yeah we can we can do it we can do it do we have the food do we have the oxygen we'll find out Oh, of course, the oxygen worked out was uh, to this traveling. Uh, it was 20 days I can survive, 20 cycles. Uh, so it's actually a little bit more, so that, that will be fine. The gate as well has cooled up. I'll, I'll take the iron. Not here, though. Uh, I think we'll go over to reversal. And this is where the best place to spend the iron is. Of course, this is where our steel production facility is. Iron, thank you very much. Da down here is where we turn the iron into the steel. That's pretty nice. But we're also pushing the magma forwards here. Let's uh, get rid of the corner blocks here. In fact, that's not what we're doing now. Wait, stop. I'm ruining my own plans. I'm ruining my own plan. What we're doing now is destroying these tiles and lifting this up to be in line with uh, all these other tiles so that we can start just sweeping cleanly across. Anyway, distractions and tangents aside, Goddard's just got inside the rocket, so uh, let, let's get on out of here. Or we could wait for the order. Uh, really, uh, there's, there's always just one more thing. Okay, I think I think it registered the click. I think it registered the click. And here we go. Once again, let, let's keep an eye on the steam temperature down there. Uh, 14, 15, 116 degrees. It is definitely getting warm. A little bit worried about the uh, the gas rocket port here. You can see it's already getting quite hot, 100 degrees or so. But I think we're fine. I don't know whether I want to try and capture this nuclear fallout. It looks like maybe we could condense it down into some... Uh, some liquid nuclear waste and maybe just maybe use that for something i don't know but it doesn't look like we're warming up no it doesn't look, doesn't look like we're warming up the, the steam all that much which is kind of a shame i'm 
Okay, let's get a part way through the journey check-in. We seem to be doing okay. We've still got the majority of the oxygen that we left with. This is good. I'm all about that. We found one new unknown object. Goddard's not doing too well with the radiation. Maybe this is something we should address in future iterations. We could probably bring this down a little bit and put a roof on this. This is not a special room, so we could definitely change it as we need. It's a shame there's no time in flight. Uh, indicator that 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 would be useful i've not seen anything anywhere in fact there's a there's a very few properties actually available here uh so yeah that 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 that's unfortunate but we've been going for a, a little while and we're gonna have a little t more little time more now since i left it for so long i need to kind of just go around and make sure nothing nothing has melted anywhere because that that is something that does tend to happen when the place just gets left on its own for too long I feel the need to document this despite the fact that it's completely off the rails from what we were doing. Uh, I've, I've finally got to the point where there's a, a, a little enough water around here that I can start emptying out these water reservoirs. The problem is they are full of germs, but I think we can handle it. I think we can just go ahead and dump the germs in this like 39, 40 degree water. I really wish it was 40 degrees, not 39. Uh, the 40 degree water will just cook the germs off. If you have a look, current temperature 43, 32% uh, dead per cycle, uh, and it's only breeding up on the polluted water. It's one of the reasons why I would really, really like to be able to get this water here down into that pump, but uh, I, want, I wonder if we could do it some other way. The problem is regular water just floats on top of the polluted water. So yeah, n nature is healing. This place is getting better. Uh, eventually, we'll have to decide like an actual plan to do with this area over here. This polluted water vent is actually starting to become uh, pretty useful and pretty necessary, especially on reversal where we're using it to water the plants. Anyway, back to the star map. How are we doing? We're zoomed out very far. And oh, we're, do we're done looking. We're done looking. Beautiful. Uh, let's change our destination over this way. Uh, and also, whilst we're out there, I want to have a look at our oxygen perfect we're doing fine you're hanging in well there goddard how's your radiation looking i should have sent some radiation tablets i completely forgot about it maybe we'll be coming straight back after we've done the next flight the goddard looks a little bit a little bit like he's suffering from the effects of radiation oh look we're getting this one over here as well i thought we'd done them all I am happy to report that we uncovered the tile before the rocket moved on. Oh, that's great. And we're already working on the next slot. I did, however, get a radiation warning from our boy Goddard here. Mm, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be gonna be pretty bad at some point. Actually, I'm going to be a generous overseer. We're going back. We're going back. Even though it will cost us time in the long run, I think the health of Goddard is more important. We can do things like move these airflow tiles down and the power down just a little bit. We can put a little plastic ceiling up just over the top here so we can reduce some of it. We can't do that here because it changes uh, the bed, but that that's, that's something we can work on. We could even uh, allow some, not cooking ingredients, where is the medicine? Down the bottom here, uh, some basic rad pills. That that would be great. Can we make them on Aerogal? I sure do hope so. Yeah, we can make two. Okay, I'm going to task Pyaxlin with making a hundred of them, and then we're going to find a way to send them to Irigao. Nice, that's that's already set up well. Uh, and it's this bottom one here. Okay, we, we can make this happen. Out of the blue, earn myself a new achievement. Nowhere to go, have eight duplicates, wear non-dethal clothing simultaneously. Uh, I just started handing out some suits that were land, uh, laying around out here. In fact, I want... Uh, Franklin to have the spiffy overalls if that's at all possible let's let's go with that instead uh yeah I, I just noticed we had quite the pile of stuff here and people were not wearing let's see what let's see what Franklin ends up looking like in the spiffy uniform uh spiffy overalls yeah pretty cool pretty cool oh so weird's happening so weird is happening uh where where is Franklin to get on with this she's going somewhere grab some stuff from elsewhere unfortunately that's letting a lot of heat out i uh, this this is not this is not quite what i wanted to happen at all okay well you know we're gonna just have to do with whatever she's doing why 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 <laughs> 
I think some weird gas exchange happened somewhere. I'm, I'm really not sure what happened there, but something quite untoward did indeed happen. Also, there's, there's some very hot stuff around here. Oh my gosh. Well, we, we got to seal this off and then let it re-equalize. Re Frankly, you, you need to leave. You need to leave. Uh, okay, let, let's put Freddy. She's already already assigned down there. That That's good. That's fine. I don't know what we're going to do about the bigger problem that's developing here. Also, we got some uh, molten copper in the way in places. That's okay. But the magma is going down and warming all of this back up. It would have been nice to get a serious flow up and running again. But that doesn't happen when you're doing one tile at a time. And then whatever happened here... Well, we got some uh, some rad pills for Goddard over here, and I've jumped a little way ahead. We've gone ahead and opened up all of this area. New planetoid detected. That is Gasolia. Brilliant, brilliant. There's also another one. Gasolia. Twice. Twice. We found Gasolia twice. I don't know how I managed to find it twice, but find it twice I did. But more importantly, we found... Well, I, I actually, I suppose Gasolia is quite important. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you get meteor showers, but there's also a chlorine on there. But more importantly, there's the moo biome. It's the natural habitat of the glassy moo. I don't know whether I'm interested in gassy moos, to be honest. We probably, we probably will end up doing it just because it's a thing to do, right? Uh, but more importantly, these two here, the space debris gives us sand iron ore, molten copper and glass. All of those are top of my priorities to get. And also, wolframite, molten tungsten, coal and carbon dioxide. Well, the carbon dioxide I'm not that bothered about, but the rest, oh my gosh, yes please, I will have some of that. Much better than these these bad, bad, bad things here to begin with. Uh, so once we have gone ahead, I think this is the last one, one, two, three, maybe, maybe there's a little bit more uh, exploring to be done. But I'm going to bring uh, Goddard home after that. He's got just about enough. Where do we find out our range seven tiles one two three four and home uh, so that's pretty good i was a little bit worried that maybe just maybe we wouldn't have actually had all of the uh, the distance that we need and almost without uh, a moment too soon because we are really starting to build up the amount of rad bolts that we've got holding in the system there is indeed if i come into the radiation something that we could uh, could possibly put a, a rad bolt generator down not generator a rad bolt chamber down uh, i would have to get rid of this interplanetary launcher but i, I don't think that's uh, the, the the biggest problem the biggest problem in fact is the fact that the the exit is at the top and everything's all lined up so i would have to use some of these rad bolt reflectors just to kind of go down and around but I, I think we can do that maybe even go across the top here I don't, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out in fact uh radiation red bolt chamber uh just here yeah why not just there i don't see any reason to put it anywhere else i don't know if there's like a direction that we can point this i did try uh to rotate it it is not a rotatable building so i i suppose that fine uh, it does have some outputs and stuff like that some automation signals but i don't think i'm that bothered about the automation signals i just want to make sure that it stays powered uh i don't know how much power it takes but make sure that it stays powered so that we don't end up losing uh, any of the actual rad bolts i'm just gonna move that up there like so maybe even change the power structure here but as we stand right now as long as, as long as this doesn't come in at uh let, let's have a look what's the what's the top load at the moment 720 as long as this doesn't come in at 1400 or anything like that uh we should be more uh, have more than enough capabilities in our wires come on spitzer how you doing we don't have a little line underneath i have no idea how well this construction is going i just know that it is going okay that that that's fine okay there we go that's that's what i want to see 120 be beautiful i i can definitely handle that amount of power draw because i've got a giant nuclear reactor Whoa. so if we get a red bolt reflector and copy it out i'm not seeing any way to change the direction of this red bolt chamber i look like clicking on it here there's nothing nothing here we can say how many red bolts we can what do you mean only a hundred i was kind of hoping this red bolt this says a thousand storing a out of a thousand but this is only up to a hundred stores red bolts in high energy state ready for transport requires a green signal to release the red bolt from storage um particles picked up and ready to go red bolts in storage rapidly decay whilst i mean there, there appears to be a bit of a, a, a spacing issue there but i presume that's whilst unpowered yeah there seems to be a few few glitches there seems to be just a few glitches but i'm okay with that where can we slap this down that doesn't interfere with other things oh i caught it just as we're releasing some rad bolts they've got in there we've got 100 of 100 i don't i don't know what this rad bolt threshold is we've got 490 can i can i type a thousand in no i cannot so this must have something to do with the uh the output sensor 
green signal when the red bolt storage is full, otherwise sends red, and up here uh, emits red bolts. Do not approve. Okay, that, that's it's kind of what I want. i tell you what I am going to do, though. We're going to put a signal switch down here. We are going to eventually turn that uh, off and then move this across here like this, and that should then give us full control over everything we need to do. Make sure the path goes in the... Di Ooh, we could have shot it diagonally at the rocket. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but that, that probably would have been a much nicer way of doing it. Uh, it would have been less distance to cover, if, if nothing else. Do you reckon I can chain many of these together? It, it'd be really nice to have many Radbolt chambers, right? Three or four of them. Four, four would be ideal. We'd have a full tank of Radbolts for the for the rocket then. That that would work out quite well. Anyway, we've got 1.3 cycles until... Oh no, he's still he's still working out. That's fine. I don't mind, to be honest. I don't mind. Uh, we, we've uncovered the majority of what we need to uncover. And now I need to kind of figure out where I'm going to be sending this exploration craft next time. Uh, it would be really nice if this was set up for some sort of uh, colonization but it, it's not this rocket unfortunately uh, has got the ma maxed out power maxed out oxygen maxed out height so there's not much more we can do with this particular style of rocket trying to slowly crush all the all the, the magma down we, we've got a little bit closer but we've been having to deal with the ridiculously hot scalding heat here i think some magma got got spilt at some point uh, so anyway i've been going around ripping down all all the ladders and building them back up because when you do that that resets the temperature uh, unfortunately all the all the land around is still like hundreds of degrees that's why i feel like we had a magma spill somewhere because hundreds of degrees also totally unrelated to that particular issue i built myself a hospital over here on uh reverse lin i th no idea why i would have needed one <laughs> They changed the way gases behave. I, I had a vacuum in here, and obviously at some point some gas has been let go. That's fine. But look, look at this, like, very, very strong split that's going on here. I, uh, it feels different. It feels, feels very, very, very different. And with the return of Goddard, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this exploratory journey, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to continue a little bit of exploring here. Obviously, we're going to go over this way and explore this part of the star map. You can see it's quite quite unexplored over here. I'm not that bothered by the Gatimu planet, but I do, I really do want to get over to Damplin over here because there are some very nice materials at the very bottom which allow me to make some super high materials high temperature materials but i will see you then or when we're gonna do that bye